Zoe here and welcome to another episode of Zoe's Diary. If you're new to the channel, then welcome. I make videos on minimalism, veganism, my adventures here in Rome, and basically just all about my life. And that's what the Zoe's Diary series is about. So in this video today, I decided to talk to you guys about my income, my wealth, because I feel like it seems to be kind of a more popular question on the channel here. And I know a lot of you are probably wondering, how does she do it? How much money does she make? How did she move to Rome? Etc. Etc. So I'm hoping to answer a lot of these questions today and then we're going to make some food as per usual. So in regards to my income and my career, I think the most valuable tidbit that you guys can take from this video is probably going to be to have multiple streams of income. So currently I have seven streams of income, all of which are all done by me. I don't have parents or any kind of family member, anybody is supporting me, I do this all on my own. So right now I have seven streams of income and I cannot encourage you enough to go out there and get yourself more than one stream of income, whether this be through real estate or you know YouTube, freelance endeavors, anything like that. Try to think of ways that you can make income more than just say your nine to five job. For example, YouTube is one of my forms of income. It's not a large portion of my income, but it is a portion of it. If YouTube were to say shut down tomorrow, if that does happen, meet me on Facebook. I'll leave all my social links below. But so if YouTube were to shut down tomorrow, that would be one job lost. But I still have all these other jobs. So I'll still have all of these other forms of income flowing in. So these forms of income are freelance clients that I have that I do digital marketing for, whether it's be blog writing, social media, uh, website things, Photoshop stuff, etc, etc. It took me a while to get to where I am and have freelance clients. I did have to work in the corporate world and establish myself a little bit more and get the experience, but I knew from the beginning, especially after reading Tim Ferriss' 4 Hour Work Week, that that is something I want to strive for, was, was to be able to work independently, be able to travel more, basically be able to live my life as the new rich, which I'll touch on in a minute as well, but have a goal in mind and set yourself up for that success that you desire. So like I mentioned, um, I have multiple streams of income, I have multiple clients, and it's great to have multiple streams because if one job ends one day, say you lose your job, you still have money coming in, so you can rid yourself of stressors that might be external and kind of out of your control. If you do have multiple things that you can manage and do a good job of, etc., etc. So like I said, set yourself up for that success. So what does that mean for you? For me personally, it was a career in digital marketing, freelancing, social media, these things that I found interest in and I found captivating and enjoyable. So I did a postgraduate in sport and event marketing at George Brown College. From there, I was hired with the company that I had an internship with. And from there, I went to another company and then an agency. So I, within a span of about three years, I was able to gain a lot of knowledge. And when the time was right, I moved on from job to job because there was more than I needed to learn. So if you find yourself in a corporate job and you almost find yourself a little bit unmotivated or unstimulated, or you kind of feel like you might have outgrown the role, start to look, start to express that you're looking and just keep moving forward. Never let yourself feel stagnant in the job that you're in. Another tip that I have is really live the career that you want. If you're really desiring a career in digital marketing and more specifically social media, do you have a social media presence? Are you on platforms like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube? When you can prove and you can live your life showing that you actually are enthusiastic about platforms and are enthusiastic about say marketing, then you will get the job. You will hands down get the job if you can prove that you're good at it. I inspire you to create every day. If you want to be a content creator, create every single day. Whether it's be posting on Instagram every day, taking photos every day, making videos, just create every single day. The more you can create, the easier it will be. So for example, if this is YouTube and you really wanna pursue a career in YouTube, if you go back and look at my first couple of videos, you can tell that I am so nervous in front of the camera and I have grown a lot as a person and I have grown a lot in regards to YouTube editing and being able to speak in front of a camera. So all it takes is practice and all it takes is consistency and constantly creating. So. Whatever it is that you really truly desire to be your career path, and if you are like myself and you really desire to live and work remotely, start looking into things, start figuring out what it is you really wanna do, and start having those conversations with people in regards to freelancing or digital marketing. Just get yourself out there and be proactive. And next, so I wanna talk about this new rich lifestyle. 
So like I said, Tim Ferriss, if you are interested in working, living remotely, having a four hour work week, then really download this book, buy it, read it, study it. This book truly inspired me and has changed my life. And although I didn't maybe take every tidbit from the book, I took what I needed to from the book. And that is that I wanted to live and work remotely for a period of time in my life. And that's what I'm currently doing. And I didn't think that it was possible and it has become possible. So the new rich, I am filthy rich. I feel rich when I complete an audiobook and I realize that I learned so much more than maybe I learned in a class in university that cost me X amount of dollars. I feel so rich that I can walk outside and know that I'm living in Rome and I'm living what I had previously desired and that I manifested into my life. I feel so rich when I make myself an amazing meal and I'm able to eat it and just feel healthy and feel vibrant. So this is all wealth. I don't necessarily have, you know, a large sum of money in the bank. I feel like I don't need to accumulate X amount of dollars or say a six figure income to feel rich. I feel rich every single day because of the life that I'm living and I live in abundance and it helps me attract abundance to me. It helps me, you know, attract new clients, attract positive wealth and experiences into my life to allow me to feel rich and fulfilled. My idea of rich, if I had all the dollars in the world, would be to see the entire thing, would be to see the entire thing and to share with my family and friends my wealth. So until I get to the point where I can, you know, share the dollars with family and friends, I'm still on the journey and I'm experiencing and I'm living and traveling every single day. I am living an adventurous life. And that to me is being the wealthiest person in the world. I feel so rich some days. I don't even look at my bank account or I don't even spend money some days and I feel so rich. If I can go walk around the Pantheon or walk around the Colosseum or just ride my bike in Rome in the city center, I feel so rich because this is an experience that I had been desiring for so long an experience that I just had desired. And anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling about this, but I encourage you guys to think about if you were rich, if you had all the money in the world, what would it be that you desire for your life? Would it be to live and work remotely in say Bali? Is it Rome? Is it Italy somewhere? Is it anywhere in the world? If you had all the money in the world, what would you like to do? And set yourself up for that. Make steps every single day, like I said. Be proactive in the career that you want. Go out there and meet people. Go to networking events. Let people know what it is that you're desiring. Say if this is working remotely. I'm gonna let you guys know one little thing and then I'm just gonna stop being chit chatty zo. But when I left Toronto, I had a total of two freelance clients. And now I have a total of four freelance clients. Because when you put out there that this is what you're doing and this is how you're going to provide somebody else with value and this is what you really strive for. When people catch wind of that, they're like, oh, you know, I could use some help with this and Zoe does that. You know, I could use some help setting up this and you know, Zoe, Zoe knows about that. So have these conversations with people and also do really good work because then your clients talk to their friends and it also leads to other opportunities. Anyways. <sighs> I just wanted to talk to you guys about that today because I know that when I was on my journey as to figuring out how I could do this, I was really looking for people in the position like myself now who were doing what I desired. And I just really wish that I had somebody to kind of explain, you know, that too. So anyways, in summary, <laughs> multiple streams of income, be proactive about your career, start those conversations, figure out what it is that you truly want and desire and etc. Okay. So let's go eat now because I'm starting and I've definitely rambled enough. I'm going to be making arepas, which is a Venezuelan dish that my host mother taught me how to make. So I'm going to be making those and this is a vegan option for you guys and it is very healthy and delicious. So let's get started on making that. Okay guys, to make the arepas, I have some white corn flour here and some water and basically, I'm not measuring, but I'm going to be putting a little bit of the white corn flour in here, mixing it with water and that's pretty much all you need to create the dough. You can add a little bit of salt if you like. So I'm just gonna start uh, pouring here. Just so you know, white corn flour does seem to expand a little bit. I learned this last time when I was making it. I showed you guys on Snapchat when I was making it last time. I'll leave my Snapchat below because I do tend to show you guys what I make every single day or at least like one meal every single day. So I'm gonna add a bit of the water here and then I'm just going to be mixing it with my hands until I get kind of like a dough consistency. So I'll show you guys quickly while I mix this little bit together. So as you can see, it is turning into a dough and you're gonna want it to be a little bit sticky but not too sticky because you're going to be making little buns out of it.
guys, I'm just working away on my laptop here. Uh, sometimes I like to stand up while I work. You know, I don't know if you guys have heard this, but standing is the new cancer. Another reason why I <laughs> don't belong in a desk. I'm just in my room now and my host mother Dulce ended up coming home when I was preparing the arepas. So she perfected them for me. I'm gonna leave a recipe below for them that I can find because I, I might've voiceovered that or I might've just put music behind it. Or maybe now I'll just quickly explain what they were. So basically the dough, you wanna pop all the little flower bubbles and you just wanna make it like a very nice dough and you're gonna pat them into those little buns. And then you can either put them in a frying pan or you can put them into the oven if you're making more than say two or three. They worked fine on the frying pan. There was a little bit of corn oil on the pan. Dulce said use corn oil because it is corn flour and you just want the consistency to be there. After you flip them once, then put a cover over them so it kind of acts as a little oven. And I just stuffed mine with lettuce and tomato, kind of made like a little salad and stuffed it inside and then ate the salad afterwards. Typically, I would normally eat these with beans or lentils. I just didn't have those today and avocado is amazing. So add the avocado in. So yeah, I'm just working away on my laptop here and I was listening to an audiobook. It is Money and the Law of Attraction, Learning to Attract Wealth, Health, and Happiness by Esther and Jerry Hicks, The Teachings of Abraham. So this will probably be in my November favorites. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about what we spoke about earlier, income and working remotely. The reason why I wanted to touch on this again is because that is something that I desire. But I also want to touch on if your desires are in the corporate world and you want success that way and you are feeling fulfilled in that way. Two of my best friends, Steph and Lauren, who I both spoke to on the phone this week, they are doing amazing in the corporate world. They're kicking butt. Like that's their environment that they're supposed to be in and it's very obvious. And it's obvious that when they talk to me that they know that my environment is outside of the office. So whatever it is for you, like I said, the proactiveness and just going out there and getting it, that is what you have to do. I know that Lauren hustled. I know that Steph hustled. Uh, Steph's in Toronto, Lauren's in Vancouver. If you want to achieve what you want to achieve, you just have to go for it and you just have to prove yourself. And if you ever feel stagnant, you need to move. Whereas like Lauren, I hope it's okay that I'm sharing this, but Lauren was feeling a little bit like she was at a point where she really needed to step out of her comfort zone and make her next move. And she did. And she is now moving into another amazing role. Congratulations, Lauren. And yeah, so I'm, I'm just really happy that I have amazing friends in my life who are succeeding and who are inspiring me even though that their goals are not my goals. When you have friends, uh, like-minded individuals like you and they're succeeding and you're speaking to them, like honestly, every time I get off the phone with Lauren or Steph, I'm always like, I'm so happy that they're my friends because they are living their lives, hustling, pursuing their goals and they're doing amazing and they're right where they're supposed to be. And I truly feel that. And I know that when I speak with them, they're like, yeah, you're doing you. So you're supposed to be in Rome and you're supposed to be doing YouTube. And so basically like if you want to kick ass in the corporate world, then kick ass in the corporate world, but you can still take the tips of living what you want. So if you want to be in digital marketing, then have a digital marketing presence and be proactive about everything. Go out there and go to networking events and meet people, have those conversations. So I just wanted to uh, touch on that. Um, you guys also might have noticed I have changed because I'm going out tonight and I'm gonna go to the bathroom to show you guys this outfit because I'm really proud of myself how I put this together in my minimalist wardrobe. And I also wanna show you guys my dry shampoo because a few of you asked in my last video or one of the other videos I mentioned that I'm only washing my hair once a week now so I'm using this really great dry shampoo that I found here in Italy. I'm gonna show you guys it because it is cruelty free. It's made from oats, I believe. So yeah, let's go check it out. So this is it here. I made sure, oops, my light is a flickering. I think it needs to be replaced. It's called Chlorine. It might not focus in, but either way, I'm gonna leave it below for you guys. So this is the dry shampoo that I use, and it is amazing. It's definitely the best that I've used. Okay. So I, uh, second day hair here, I just sprayed it lightly. I am wearing my extensions today. But my hair, honestly, I love washing my hair only once a week because every time I wash it and it dries, which I let dry naturally, I'm always like, I feel like I gained an inch already. I feel like it just gets longer and longer and I feel like that's good for the whole, you know, positive visual visualization. Ooh, it's like a disco ball up in here. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna stand up on the toilet, short girl pops, okay, so that I can show you my outfit. Ugh, okay. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just wearing those black tight dynamite pants that I showed you and I pulled out the dress to show you. So this is from Wilfred Free. This is just like an oversized t-shirt. What I did a couple weeks ago, hopefully I can do it with one hand, is that I pulled it up and I kind of tucked it in to one side of my pants here. <laughs> Hold on. Ugh. I'm gonna set you guys up there while I freaking sew. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> what I did, hopefully you can see, is I tucked the dress in. It's like an oversized t-shirt. It's kind of a bit shorter and I think it might have shrunk a little bit, but I like to wear it over bathing suits. And then it kind of creates like a little scoop on the one side, hopefully you can see. And basically this dress is now a shirt. And in the summertime, it can be a dress. So I encourage you to get creative with your clothing, get creative with your minimalist wardrobe, and yeah, just, I'm standing on the, I'm standing on the dress. I'm short, okay? This is what we, what we gotta do. We gotta do it for YouTube, right? Okay, so this is just one thing that I've recently put together because I've been inspired to be more creative about the things that I do have. And yeah, I hope this vlog inspired you guys and I hope that you're really liking this Always Diary series. If you have any questions about, you know, like I talked about the multiple streams of income or working and living remotely and uh, vagabonding and all this, I love talking about it because I'm enthusiastic about it and. It is a passion of mine, so leave your questions below. It will inspire more videos, and I just love answering you guys and love getting comments from you guys. Okay, I love you, and I hope you have a great day, and I hope that you have an even better weekend. Bye.